Hi everybody, my name's Jenny and I play the Fluting Kaleidoscope Orchestra. I've been in the Kaleidoscope Orchestra right from the beginning, when we did our small club nights in Fallowfield for Freshers, all the way to last year's awesome Cream Classical in the Park in Liverpool. Hey, my name's Steve Pycroft. I'm one of the founders of Kaleidoscope Orchestra. I'm also the musical director, so I write all the arrangements and conduct sometimes and I also play the drums and percussion. Hi, my name's Bee and I play the oboe with Kaleidoscope Orchestra. I have been playing with the orchestra for a long time so it is so nice to be able to keep doing it while we're in lockdown. It's just been so fun to have things to record and play. My name is Pete Mitchell, I'm a drummer and percussionist based in Manchester and I'm originally from the Isle of Man. My first time playing with Kaleidoscope Orchestra was actually for the lockdown session videos. I'm Kate and I play clarinet with the group. I am a founder member, which means that I've been there since we formed. Um, and the great and amazing thing about that is that I've seen the group do so many different things. We started doing these tiny gigs where there would maybe be five people on stage with an MC, to now doing the bigger gigs that we do at Liverpool Cathedral for Cream. And it's been great to do so many different things and for our, our core message to have remained, which is to keep playing music that will surprise our audiences and keep pushing the boundary of what orchestras can do in terms of genre. My favourite gig with Kaleidoscope was when we went over to Germany. We all flew over for Impact Festival. That style of music was something that I'd never really gone into before and I really enjoyed it. I thought all oh, dance music was great. I'd say my favourite gig with Kaleidoscope has to be either with Cream Classical at the Cathedral or Cream Classical in the Park. Playing as part of this epic orchestral sound to thousands of ravers is an unforgettable experience. It's probably one of the first ones that we ever did, which was the, the Skrillex Suite. And I, I look back at that now, and when I, I watch it back, uh, it's definitely some nostalgia there. Um, but it also shows me how far the orchestra has sort of come since then and how we've grown. I'm probably most proud of the Avicii one, because that really, his death affected me and made me think a lot about my own mental health. And so, Helping raise awareness for mental health is something that's important to me. Then also doing the tribute to Chester Bennington uh, and Keith Flint. It's just nice to kind of pay tribute to people who've inspired me and inspired so many people. Favourite gig done with Kaleidoscope would have to be the first time I ever did Cream Classical in um, Liverpool Cathedral. It went off. It was so good. I've never done a gig like that before. Um, before that that time, it was it was really awesome. It was so much fun, and everyone just had a great time. It's hard to pick a gig because they feel completely different. Actually, there's always the same amount of elation. I love seeing the audience a few feet away having the best time and dancing out their skins. But then also, it's amazing when we see the whole of you, thirty thousand cream classics in the park, and the noise you made was just phenomenal. <laughs> I'd love to be able to play the violin. I feel like the string instruments are my favourite instruments in the orchestra. No disrespect to any of the other instruments. But I love the sound of strings, so I just wish I had the knowledge and the ability to play rather than just that kind of distanced knowledge about writing for the instrument. If I could play another instrument, I think it would be oboe, stay in the double reed world. But also, I already play the saxophone, the clarinet and the flute, as well as the bassoon. So I'd love to get the woodwind set and be able to play them all. I think if I could play any other instrument, it might be the cello, because you can look elegant when you do that, and you look ridiculous when you play the oboe, whatever you do. So um, that would be quite nice, quite nice to play the cello. If I wasn't playing the trumpet, I would probably be playing something like the cello, because I'm really basic. <laughs> I think I'd go for percussion, because there's loads of different instruments and loads to learn. I'm a freelance musician, so I play in orchestras, in musicals, I'm a musician at a children's hospital, I do workshops in schools, I do a lot of work with my chamber group Chameleon, and I do recordings with Kaleidoscope, so I love that it's so varied and I never get bored. As well as playing for Kaleidoscope in lockdown, um, I'm still doing my job working for several charities which provide really high quality music provision for children and young adults with additional needs. 
which I really enjoy. When I'm not busy playing clarinet, I'm also a researcher, so I just got my doctorate in music psychology, um, answering questions such as how do musicians build their careers, how do they keep their careers sustainable whilst taking care of their mental health, how do musicians cope with change and why do we do what we do, so you know, the big questions, but it's been fascinating. Well, I actually teach full-time in Oxfordshire. Um, before that, I was freelancing regularly, but decided to go down the teaching route in the end. As well as Kaleidoscope, I play in a band called Riot Jazz Brass Band. We've been together for about 10 years. We play at festivals and club nights and things like that. We play a kind of crossover of brass bandy, hip-hop, drum and bass music. And as well as that, I also do arrangements for other music ensembles. And I also make videos for a charity called Heart Valve Voice, uh, whose aim is to help raise awareness for heart valve disease. Everything I do is very creative, and it's usually music or video. I would love to play on the health stage in the Shangri-La area at Glastonbury. I think we'd go down a storm at like 2 a.m. playing our kind of mashup arrangements to that 2 a.m. crowd. If we could do anything, I'd love it if we could go abroad and do our music somewhere like in Berlin or Amsterdam. I'd love it if we could play a Pride festival like Brighton or Manchester. So the place that I would really, really love to play with Kaleidoscope would be the Albert Hall, the Royal Albert Hall. I feel like it's time an orchestra like us played in the BBC proms. In the lockdown, trying to keep myself entertained, I've been making loads of cool, like, percussion instruments out of different things. Don't worry, I didn't drink these all at once. Writing music, writing all these arrangements that we've been putting out, that's been my full-time job slash hobby. I've also done a few jobs for other orchestras and ensembles. I did the BBC Lockdown Orchestra, which was an ambitious project, but it was Great to be involved in that. And then just trying to relax as well. It's, it's a great opportunity to take some downtime. I love traveling and gigging, but it's been really good to just take a bit of time out and uh, enjoy time at home. I've been keeping myself busy with lots of little side projects, recording myself playing for various different things, like stuff for my brass quintet. And of course, Rhiannon and Steve have been keeping us very busy with Kaleidoscope projects. So, and it's all been really, really fun. I've been trying my hand at gardening. It's not going too well, but I'm feeling positive. Also been doing a lot of cooking and things like that. I spend a lot of time out of my house usually because I work between Leeds and Liverpool, even though I live in Manchester, um, which means I don't spend a whole lot of time at home. So it's been really nice to just be at home, do some sorting out. That makes me sound really boring, but there's not really much to do at the moment, is there? Since lockdown began, it's been awesome to continue making music, albeit remotely, with this fabulous group of musicians and to stay connected with one another, even though we're all over the country. Being able to be a part of something like the Kaleidoscope lockdown sessions has been amazing to keep doing what I love, just in a bit of a different way. The tunes are always so much fun to record and play, but I think at the moment my favourite thing has been being able to watch the videos back of us all together as while we can't do it in person, it's just been so special. Getting together with the guys in Kaleidoscope Orchestra, recording it, making the videos, putting it on YouTube, and then reading comments from people who have been impacted by our music or have had an emotional response or connection to the music. One of the things that I love most about music is that you get to play it together with other people and get to share it to other people. The Kaleidoscope videos have been a really good way to kind of continue to share that kind of passion of music together. Thanks for following us, supporting us, being on the journey. Hopefully see you next time with a gig. Just thanks so much everyone for watching our videos and um, making us feel so loved during this lockdown time. That's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and give us a follow on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Cheers.